Hi everyone. Today, let's do the questions and answers from the story, What's Your Dream? by Raskin Bond. Let's begin. So here comes the story. It's called, What's Your Dream? And it was written by Raskin Bond. I have read and explained the entire story in one of my previous videos. So if you have not already watched that, kindly do so before you go through this lesson. And if you have, then let's continue with today's lesson, which is on the questions and answers. So here are the questions at the end of the lesson. What was the old beggar's question? Why did the narrator feel startled at the old man's question? What was the narrator's dream? What kind of room did the narrator live in? How did the old beggar know that the narrator was a dreamer? Let's go to the first one. What was the old beggar's question? Let's see if you know the answer. The old beggar asked the boy what his dream was. The second, why did the narrator feel startled at the old man's question? Why, why was he so surprised? The answer, the narrator felt startled or surprised by the old man's question because it was a strange question for a raggedy old beggar to ask. Also, the beggar spoke to him in English. That was strange too. The third one, what was the narrator's dream? What did he want so badly? I'm sure you know this one, it's really easy. The answer, the narrator's dream was to have a room of his own. The fourth one, what kind of room did the narrator live in? Well, you know from the story that the narrator already lived in a room, but he was not satisfied with that room. Why? Did you get the answer right? Let's see. The narrator lived in a large room that he shared with his brothers and sisters and even an aunt who came to visit. He wanted privacy. He wanted his own little room that he did not have to share with anyone. He wanted freedom. The fifth one, how did the old beggar know that the narrator was a dreamer? Was it easy to guess that this boy was a dreamer? That he was fond of daydreaming? The answer, the old beggar knew that the narrator was a dreamer because he sat in a lychee tree all afternoon when it wasn't the lychee season. So why would someone sit in a tree when he wasn't picking lychees? Obviously, he was dreaming, right? I hope this lesson was useful to you. I really hope so. We'll meet again very soon with my next English literature lesson. Until then, bye.